not having it. For those of you dabbling in the art of manifesting, or those who are deeply committed to a life of light and energy as the primary drivers of your experience, I'd like to address the illusion of what I call time drag. Time drag is the apparent passage of time from the moment we imagine the fulfillment of a desire to the realization of it. It is probably the most vexing and most misunderstood of physical phenomenon for the would-be creator. I call this time drag effect an illusion because time itself is a construct of the mind. We agree to this linear cause and effect passage of events as a tool to observe our creations and to make cultural sense of our place in the world. Both of these constructs must be completely arbitrary because each of us come from different cultural social beginnings and the scientific fact that time itself is a construct of the mind. Yet we are habituated to a certain rate or the way things get done or that narrow band of possible ways things come into being. These extremely limiting beliefs create the time between our desires and the actualization of them. It's been shown in those pesky quantum physics experiments that quantum particles can jump into the future or the past, can coexist in both, as well as exist in multiple points in space simultaneously. This all leads physicists to conclude that the, quote, linear time, quote, does not actually exist, and in reality, on a cosmic scale, everything is happening at once. I bring this up in the way of deconstructing our expectations of how our desires must come into being. In the ancient shamanic tradition, it's taboo to assign any causative events to a desire. In other words, once you've chosen an outcome or imagined a desire fulfilled, you must not try to figure out how to make it happen. It's the rust of conundrums in the manifestation game. The point is, once you've chosen a desired outcome, it is the universe's job to bring about its fruition. Now, realize 99% of what we are experiencing is subconscious creation. We are making the sunshine, we are rotating the planet, we are circling the galactic center, all subconsciously. So we're not figuring out how to do these things. We're doing them automatically as an integral part of living in this dimension. This subconscious creating we're doing is the other, your partner in conscious creating. If we get all tangled up in the how and the where and the when, we short-circuit the subconscious creator by creating a microscopically narrow set of possibilities from which it can create. This is what I call time pollution. We feel like after sitting with our desires unfulfilled, the world seems to remain stationary as we twiddle our thumbs continually looking at the clock. What's happened there is that our attention jumped out of the imagination that source of conscious creation, and got stuck on the outward effects that are not our desired outcome. In other words, we hang up on the not having of it when we ought to be focused intently on the direct having of it within the imagination. The subconscious other is already clothing our imaginal desires in physical reality as long as we let it do its job. So, what do we do when we catch ourselves trying to figure out how to make happen these desires of ours. Well, stop. Engage the imagination and re-enter the land of desires fulfilled with all of our senses. This keeps the short-circuiting of the other from happening so much, and it gives us a nice energetic retreat from which to observe the unfoldment of what we are imagining. We perceive and live in the fulfillment of our desires. That's our job. Just that. Yes, go about your daily manifested activities, but stay in the land of creation. That is the imagination. You may find there are tasks that come up in the manifested world that do relate directly to the appearance of desires fulfilled. Well, rejoice. Things are getting there. The great dynamo of our dualistic universe is the nothing to something engine. This engine has infinite power and can create anything we can imagine and beyond. 
It is only our limited beliefs about the outside world and the narrow opinions of what is possible in that world that prevent the immediate manifestation of our choices. We directly engage this dynamo in the imagination as we see, hear, smell, and feel our desires fulfilled. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX. www.pureenergyrx.com.